everyone. Welcome back. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, if you're not from the U.S., on Thursday, the United States celebrated their Thanksgiving Day. Um, as you can see from the thumbnail, I have got a ton of boxes to open. No, they are not mystery boxes, and I hope I don't bore you. I mean, some people may find it boring because not all the pops are, you know, spectacular. Um, but I like the ones I got, or I wouldn't have bought them. So, anyway, I've got a lot to open. So, um, what I'm going to do is just reach down. Now, this one I had already opened because I bought a couple of them because some of them are going to be for gifts. And um, I don't know if I showed you this one or not, but of course, I have to have Ozzy in my collection. The God of Metal. And I think a lot of you already do have him in your collection, especially if you like the music. Now, I don't know what is in everything. I really don't. I got some from Hot Topic, and I don't know. I don't know where everything is from, to tell you the truth. And I need to put these on so I know exactly what I'm opening here. And I'm sorry if there's a glare. I left the uh, another light on, so if it's causing too much glare, I apologize. Kind of hard to tell until you actually watch the video. So this one is from Hot Topic. You know, I ordered some, and some take a long time to come in, so I do not know which one this is. But at least they sent it in a box, and it's in a sorter. So I'm going to have so much. Boy, do I have a lot of trash to take care of. So, oh, okay. Wow, this one took a long time to come in. A very long time. Some of you probably have had this one for a long time. But, yep, it's the child with the cup. So we're going to set him right here for now. Because i got to find a place for all these. Good grief. And let's open this one. Let's see which one I got. This was not just one huge mail call day. I have had some of these for a while sitting here. And then all of a sudden something else will come up and I'll just want to do. Oh, oh, that's a secret. This is going to be what I've got in here are some really cool goodies. Then I'm going to put in the mystery box that I have for my 200 subscribers. So, you know what? Quick peek. That's it. Can't let you see anymore. It's a mystery. It's a mystery surprise box. I did show you, you know, spicy oodles, which will be in it. So, there will be a giveaway at 200 subscribers. So, please like and subscribe if you are watching my videos and not subscribe, hit that subscribe button, share my videos. Um, I'm also on Instagram. All of my links are below. Let's see what's in this one. Hmm. When did I get that? See, I'm not paying attention. Okay. And this one is, which one is this one? I see which one it is. Oh, what a mess. And we have Holiday Stitch. Adorable. I love Stitch. He's so cute. Stitch with Scrump. Can you see that? It's kind of hard to see how he looks because he's hiding in there. So, um, And right back here that you see, this is all going to be changed. Hopefully the next video I do... Um, You'll see a Christmas scene behind here. I've got tons of, like, he's, of course, uh, Stitch with, with Scrump is going to be part of it. I've got, like, even, like, I've got a lot of the uh, Peppermint Lane that I will be setting up. As you can see, I believe I may have all of those on the back here. And they light up. So that's going to be really cute. And I have some others, too. I think my very first pop was Elf, and my son gave me that a few years ago. I didn't even know what Funko Pops were then. Now that... Wow. GameStop. Okay, this is probably an older one. Probably should have opened this and checked this one out. I've been seeing a lot of nightmare posts about how GameStop... The, the packages are okay on the outside. And they're receiving damaged box boxes... Funko Pop boxes. Well, there's just two in two in here, so I don't know. I think it all it's all going to depend on um, 
who is packaging. But I'm going to tell you, from what I saw someone post, that was awful. Nobody, nobody should receive inside an undamaged box totally destroyed Funko Pop boxes. They weren't even in sorters. I don't know. That was just crazy. But this one was, this might be the, was this New York or, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was the 2020 fall exclu exclusive. I got a couple of Beetlejuices. One is a gift. One is mine and one is for someone else. And so I did buy two. Glow in the dark. And, uh, most of you have probably already seen it. I mean, yes, I am a little bit late on this, but got us, got myself a Beetlejuice. I got two of them. Like I said, one for a gift, which I got to put away so nobody sees. And one of the Aussies is a gift. Um, okay, let's see. Let's open. We'll open this one. This one came out of another box. Um, I can't remember which one this was. Does it say? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, man. I tell you, I'm wondering if I'm still stuffed. I haven't felt right since Thanksgiving because you know how you do. No, I don't have food poisoning or anything like that. I'm just like, I think I'm still digesting. Okay, which one was this? Which one did I get here? I forgot. So I'm just going to turn this. It's a big one. Let's turn this upside down. Is this the, uh, oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, I forgot all about this, another New York Comic Con purchase, this is the only one I could get that day, how many of you got this one, the Burrow and Molly Weasley, I didn't even really want it, I just said, well, I'm just going to get, if this is the only one that I'm going to get that was left in my, you know, my checkout at the end, I was having problems with that. No big deal. Yep. So I got the... It's here. I don't know. I'm not really into um, Harry Potter as much. Um, I do like it, but maybe somewhere down the line I will make this... Uh, put this in a... Uh, as a giveaway. Can you... Okay, I do have it on. Um, let me... I got this big one sitting down. Well, no, I can put it up here. It's very light, so... Let's see which one this is. I am expecting another something else. And I thought I should have received it by now because other people are. But maybe this is, oops, maybe this is it. Oh, okay, hold on. It's, oh, oops. Some fun, uh, fun co pops just went timber. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. All right. So, yes, there is another box. A box within a box. I've got so many boxes, it's ridiculous. I could spend an hour probably breaking down all this cardboard and putting it in recycling. <sighs> oh, okay, this one's it. Okay, then we're there. Okay. I don't know. I thought something else was delivered. Is it... Should be down here somewhere. This is the one, yeah, that I was just talking about. Did I really want it? Because I do have the gold and the jade. And you probably know, since I just said that, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. More boxes. I wanted, this is the 10-inch uh, Shenron. I just like dragons. Dragons are cool. And I liked, um, I really liked the jade and the um the gold one and i'll put a picture here um yeah i thought he was really cool very cool pop very big and um it said i, I received that i had got another package is and i don't you know it's really weird because i don't see it Did, i thought i may have brought it down here did I bring it down here? And I just, oh, excuse me a minute. Let me see. It is. All right. Hold on a second, guys. There it is. Now, I don't know why this box is so big. It really should not be this big. But I'm just going to open this last one and show you. 
because some of you may have gotten it. I did post on my Instagram, you know, that it was on sale on the uh, Funko website. So it's just a bunch of paper, but here, here is the box. I know it's an odd shaped box to be receiving from Funko, right? Eh, you probably know what it is already. Oh, that Shinron is really cool. Some people got the, a glow-in-the-dark one. I didn't know that there was a glow-in-the-dark tin, unless it was a custom. It may have been custom. Unless they had a chase. I don't know. Anyway, this is the Funko Advent. I think this is going to be very cool. No, I will not be on here every day doing a video for it. But it is the Freddy Funko Advent Calendar with 24 vinyl figures. And they set up, you know, that it's going to set up a little town. And uh, it doesn't say that, well, of course, it's a little mystery. But anyway, yeah, that's going to be cool. that will be really cool. I'll take the plastic off, see if it'll open up a little bit. I do believe it's still available on the side. I think I, oh, you know, I can't remember how much I paid for it. Maybe 40 bucks? Maybe? I don't remember. But um, I think the, I, I really enjoyed, you know, the, oops, where are they? Oh, I actually put them in here because I have, I don't know what I'm going to do with these yet. Of course, the little guys that came out of the Halloween, 13 days of Halloween advent. I just think they're, I just, I think the tiny ones are adorable. Especially since they look so much like the bigger ones. But anyway, oh, okay. So, yeah, they're going to have a little town. And this is going to be, going to start on December 1st opening. Every little door, I guess you can see all the little doors. And this little town will be set up. I guess I'll try to find a place somewhere to set this up. And it's going to, it looks like, yeah, it folds in different uh, areas. It looks like it will be kind of like this. And I guess I'll just set the little guys out, little guys and girls or animals. I don't know what's going to be behind the doors on this. I think it's cute. Um, I will put the link below if you're interested in getting it. I think a lot of people that do Funkos really like this because especially if you like the little tiny little tiny guys. So <sighs> I think I'm a little bit caught up. Anyway um, yeah I've got a lot to do today. A lot of decorating. My Friday my Black Friday purchase was a Balsam Hill tree. I was so tired of taking over an hour setting up my very old artificial tree. Um, I can't keep cut trees alive. They always, I mean, they always dry out on me. So I finally, after a couple of years, my husband and I agreed, let's spend the money and get a Balsam Hill. It was half price. I'll put the link below. Um, not sure if they're still half price or anything, um, but they do have sales. So anyway, yes, they are a little bit pricier, but not, it's not that bad. It really isn't when you consider how much some artificial trees are and what it takes to set them up. And then, you know, how much do you pay to get a cut tree between, what, $50 to $75 a year? But anyway, so I got a lot to do. I hope you all have a great day. And I will be back and I will see you all in a couple of days. Peace.